Hey everybody, so got a, a quickie project today. It's just real, real minor. Most of you probably already know how to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk everybody through what I'm doing. So it's with the street glide here. Uh, I noticed that after I put on the, the bigger wheels from Coastal Moto and getting out on the road that while I'm in town, it's not an issue, but once I'm up on the freeway doing legal speeds, uh, the bike kind of feels like it's doing this at the top. The bottom still feels planted, but I just feel like I've got a lot of wiggle in the top, almost like the bike isn't as planted as it used to be. So my thoughts, okay, well, maybe I need to redo my front suspension. I want to anyway, but I haven't yet. Thinking we'll do the Legends cartridges minus one. That's another 800 plus bucks. Or, uh, you know, just going through all these things. I mean, what could be causing this to happen? The, the wheels are imbalanced. My wheel bearing is tight. You know, it just, it makes no sense to me why all of a sudden it would be loose. Until the wife and I went for a ride and then it felt like it was back on rails. So I had it light bulb moment that we're gonna try today and then I'm gonna hop the freeway, give it a spin, see how it does. Uh, but I've lost over the span of about a year and a half, about 60 pounds. So when I got the bike, I was sitting at about 240 and it was great, it was a dream. Uh, even with the new Legends rear suspension on there, they're the Revo A's, just bolted them on, the sag was right, everything was just perfect out of the box, but I think now that I've lost some weight, uh, may maybe the geometry is off. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the bags off. I've got a nice safe space over there to set them. I got a buddy of mine coming over because he's going to put a tape measure on the rear shock while I sit on the bike, pull a number, we'll adjust. I'll kind of walk you guys through what we're doing while we're doing it. Um, and then kind of go from there. So I, I, I didn't forget about giving everybody an update on the Springer. Uh, the video apparently wasn't recording or corrupted or, or something. So before I close this out, I will let you know where we're at on the Springer for any and all parties interested. So I'm gonna, let me get these bags off, get those aside, wait for my buddy to show up, and we'll pick up where I'm about to leave off. What we're gonna do is I got my handy tape measure, and we're gonna be measuring from the center of that bolt to the center of that bolt. And I did download my directions from Legend uh, just to confirm my numbers, but these are the 13 inch Revo A's. And with me sitting on the bike, the distance from here to here should be 12. Uh, it's a different number if you have the 12 inch shocks, it's all in the directions and it's very easy to read and understand and you just go and download them for free at their website so my buddy's here we're just gonna i think i'd need to soften this which means i'm gonna grab a hold of this and twist it this direction so clockwise if you're looking top down i'm gonna twist it to my left i'm gonna give it a full rotation on both and then sit on it have him measure and if we're not there yet then we'll give it another you know half turn quarter turn one turn whatever we need to make sure that i'm sitting at 12 inches center to center so i'm hoping it's one turn but who who knows it doesn't really matter i've got about an inch and a quarter of space from the bottom of these threads to the this shoulder to the underside of here on both sides so i'm already starting at uh you know a, a matching pair of shocks i don't have one jacked way up and the other one all the way down that that would be fighting me but this distance here is the same so we're gonna start spinning to reduce the preload and then get the bags back on go for a freeway ride and hope for the best so keep you in the loop all right so with me sitting on it we were sitting at about 12 and a quarter i believe to 12 and 3 8 so we just gave this a half a turn on both sides and it dropped us down to where I'm pretty sure we are tits on 
at 12. It's hard saying because, you know, that bolt's a little recessed behind that shoulder and same down here. So just giving it the old hairy eyeball, best we can tell, we're right at 12 inches. So a half turn took out a quarter inch to a three eighths inch, or I guess added that much of a drop. So we get the bags back on, hit the freeway, see how she does. If it puts her back on rails, then I will take the sofa off since the wife and I rode, uh, put the dominator back on, try again. And I mean, the seat shouldn't make a difference, but I'm a uh, slave for redundancy. So uh, we'll see, but I will keep you guys abreast. All right, so we're back. I just took a quick jaunt out to uh, state line, which for us is, you know, the the line between Washington and Idaho. There's a, a venue out there uh, called Cruisers, and every Thursday they have a, a motorcycle gathering where there's live music and libations, and, you know, had a good time. But uh, I will say that adjusting the rear suspension was not a 100% improvement. It was probably a 75% improvement, maybe 80 tops. So that still leads me to believe, I think I need to bring the front end of the bike down, uh, kind of bring it back to where it was stock, which would involve uh, new cartridges. I'm eyeballing Legends. Uh, last time I looked, they had a minus one kit, which would bring it back down to stock. It also could be that this is how the bike is going to handle now with the bigger wheels, having gone from a 16 in the rear, 19 in the front, to an 18 rear, 21 front, it might just be a little bit looser than how it's been for the last, I don't know, four years. So I'm gonna play a little bit by ear and, and see. I might do another maybe quarter turn or another half turn on the rear suspension. I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference, but it's not gonna hurt anything to give it a try. Uh, so if, I would say at this point, if you're feeling like you made some big changes to your bike or some big changes to you, definitely consider readjusting your suspension. Because like I said, I was 240 and this was set right out of the box, worked like a champ. I dropped 60 pounds. I'm sitting in around that 180, 178-ish mark, give or take Taco Bell. So I needed to loosen up that rear suspension, give it a you know, soften it up just a little bit. If anything, I would have thought, hey, I weigh less, I should have to firm it up a little, but judging by today, I, I think I went the right route. So, uh, you know, I'll keep riding it. We'll see what happens. And if I change my mind, I'll let you all know. But as promised, an update, and turning my light back on, an update on the Springer. So, like I said earlier, I don't know what happened to the video clip, but we did have the seat off. We did put a voltmeter to the battery, had this up in the air, put it in gear and spun the rear tire because, you know, that's safe uh, up to, I think I got up to about 40 mile an hour on the, the Speedo before it cut out and dropped and started throwing a check engine code. At that point, when it did that, according to the voltmeter, the battery was charging at 17 volts, which tells me that rectifier is bad. So today's Thursday, the 16th, I believe, back two days ago, yes, on the 14th, I ordered a new rectifier from Dennis Kirk. It's a Drag Specialties premium brand, uh, all in with uh, taxes, because shipping was free. It was about 150 bucks that is supposed to be in tomorrow. Provided it shows up, FedEx allowing, uh, I'm gonna get that installed, I'm gonna take the Springer for a spin and see if my speedometer issue is finally resolved. Once I determined that the, the regulator was bad or rectifier, whatever the hell you wanna call it, was bad, the Springer went on the stand. It went in the chalk and it has stayed there because I suspect that is what fried my last speed sensor and I wasn't willing to risk another $80 speed sensor just to keep playing with a Springer. So 
when it comes in, I'll, uh, you know, I'll do the install, I'll walk you guys through it, and give it a spin and see if my problem is 100% fixed. If it is, you'll know. If it isn't, eh, you're still gonna know. Um, I'm hoping that's all it is and the Springer is 100% back to good to go. We'll find out. So I just felt like I owed you guys an explanation since the GoPro kind of crapped out on me. So that's where we're at. Street Glide 75, 80% better. Springer, hopefully to be 100% better after tomorrow. Uh, but you know the drill. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, you know, there, there's one of you out there in the UK that's always hit me up and I love your questions. I love your comments. Uh, it, it's fun. I enjoy the interaction. So please, I mean, let me know. If you think I'm an idiot and the things that I'm doing are obvious, I want to know because I, I am an idiot. I'm learning as I go and you guys are along for the adventure. So if you would, you know, if you like the video, yeah, hit it with a thumbs up, you know, uh, share, let your friends know. I'm still trying to grow the channel, even though I haven't let many of my friends, family and coworkers know that I'm doing this because I'm trying to grow it naturally. I don't want, you know, to persuade uh, people that don't watch my type of stuff to go check this out. You don't ride a motorcycle, but watch my motorcycle stuff. So, but that's, that's all I've got for tonight. I mean, it, it's nighttime now. It was not earlier when we were doing this. But, uh, so until next time, when we're doing the rectifier, we'll catch y'all next time. Later. <laughs>